Puget Systems reveals Intel Core and AMD Ryzen CPU failure rates in report, claims higher failures on Ryzen 7000 than 14th Gen. Puget Systems has revealed the failure rates for Intel Core and AMD Ryzen CPUs, and the statistics compiled indeed tell an entirely new story. Puget Systems data reveals that the firm has avoided Intel instability issues through self-tested power limits and settings. New stats for Intel Core and AMD CPUs revealed 14th and 13th Gen CPU instability fiasco has been ongoing for quite some time now, with the company seemingly trying its best to mitigate the solution, yet nothing has worked out. There has been some confusion in the industry regarding the general impact of the problem on the market since consumers and businesses have reported a failure rate of up to 100%, which is massive and shocking at the same time. However, for Puget Systems, the failure rate is significantly lower, not exceeding the double-digit mark in some cases. Based on the data compiled by the firm, it is evident that Intel's 14th Gen and 13th Gen CPUs had seen a massive spike in failure rates compared to the other generations, but interestingly, the level of failure isn't higher than what Intel's 11th Gen CPUs had experienced in the past, which is indeed something surprising. Despite this, the new instability issue is concerning for Puget Systems, given that they say that processors are failing after six months of usage, showing that Intel's microcode patch hasn't been able to do its job. In terms of the actual figures, Puget Systems says that their 14th gen and 13th gen systems have a shop failure rate of less than 2%, while field failure figures, and user failures, are much higher. Interestingly, AMD's Ryzen 5000 and Ryzen 7000 series had slightly higher failure rates than Intel's 14th gen and 13th gen CPUs in the findings. Through this, the firm says that they haven't seen as much of an impact as being reported in the media, so does that mean that there is a flaw in the reporting process? Well, not exactly, because Puget System associates such low figures with the fact that they haven't relied on settings suggested by Intel, rather, they implement parameters based on their internal testing with an emphasis on following Intel and AMD guidelines. So, with this, they have reduced the influence of the problem. In the majority of cases, we are staying the course for now. Various BIOS updates have been launched by motherboard manufacturers to provide more conservative power settings, but in our opinion, they don't quite hit the mark. They are either too conservative in some places leading to unacceptable loss in performance, or they are not conservative enough. We trust our internally developed settings more. We also are concerned with the rise in failure rate, but it is not at a level of severity that changes our CPU recommendations for our customer workflows. We will immediately validate the Intel microcode update when it is released. We will start with internal testing for stability and performance. If it passes that testing, we will begin using it on our shipping configurations as soon as possible. We will contact all our affected customers to provide the Intel microcode update. We will do this after gaining some internal experience and confidence with the update, and have developed detailed guides on how to install it while preserving our recommended BIOS settings. We are extending our warranty to three years for all customers affected by this issue, regardless of warranty purchased. With a Puget Systems PC, you should be able to count on it working for you. If we no longer have supply of 13th or 14th gen processors, we'll upgrade you to a more current generation. Despite the low failure rates, Puget Systems has come forward to address consumer concerns surrounding the issue, claiming that they are internally testing for mitigation and will validate Intel's microcode as soon as it comes forward. Moreover, they have extended warranties of up to three years for all customers affected by this issue, regardless of the date of purchase.